Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to Audrey's reading area. Wow, today is Multicultural Awareness Wednesday and I wanna send a special, special, special shout out to my longtime friend, Gail Barker. Gail Barker, thank you, thank you, thank you for all you do. Thank you for being my friend, just thank you. You know what you do. Uh, I spoke to her earlier, so I had to shout her out. Now, don't forget you guys, please click that like button. Please hit that share button. And don't forget, go on over to Audrey's reading area on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button for me. Smash it up, you guys. Smash it up real good. Punch that notification bell so you could be one of the first to be notified every time I upload a new video. How cool is that? <laughs> you could be one of the first to share it too. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys, Alexa. What time is Audrey's reading area? <clears throat> Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5 o'clock p.m. Live at 5. All right, all right, all right. So the book that I have for you today, and I want you to forgive me because I have a Kinara. That's a Kwanzaa candle, but the book I'll be reading is Sadie's Almost Marvelous Menorah. This is the picture of it. It's the closest that I have to a menorah. This has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candle holders. And as you can see, the menorah has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine candle holders. So this book is called Sadie's Almost Marvelous Menorah. <clears throat> and this book just so happens to be written by Jamie Corngold and is illustrated by Julie Fortenberry. Julie Fortenberry. Hmm. Isn't that pretty cool? So let's jump right into this book. <clears throat> so it says... It reads, Sadie loved school. She loved the Hebrew songs the children sang during music. Because you know this is Multicultural Awareness Day, so we're doing cultures. The wooden play sink in the kitchen corner and the reading nook with its comfy chairs and colorful books. Mm. She loved the boys and girls in her class and she especially loved her teacher, Maura Rachel. So let's check out the pictures. Yes. <clears throat> One Monday morning at circle time, Maura Rachel asked the class, can you guess what holiday starts this week? Can you guess? Kids are, some of the kids are raising their hand. All the children chimed in at once, Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Beautiful illustrations, aren't they cute? Sadie loved Hanukkah. She loved to spin dreidels and to eat potato latkes with applesauce. Sounds kind of good. Most of all, she loved to help mommy and daddy light their Hanukkah menorahs. Maura, Rachel said, this week we are going to make our own menorahs. <clears throat> How exciting, thought Sadie, my very own Hanukkah menorah. Sadie couldn't wait to start. I don't know, maybe I'll take their advice and try to make one myself when I read the Hanukkah books. Interesting. Let's see how it's done. On Tuesday, Maura Rachel brought out big blocks of clay, clay for each child. The children kneaded, rolled, and shaped their menorahs. Sadie used a pencil to poke holes in the clay to hold eight candles. Maybe I'll do that. Then she rolled a small ball of clay, put one more hole in it, and attached it to the top. This was for the shamash the candle used to light all the others. Wow. The shamash. <clears throat> or shamash? Shamash, shamash. On Wednesday, 
Maura Rachel brought out different colors of paint. There was purple, blue, red, orange, green, yellow, and pink. Yellow and pink. Mm. The children put on their smocks and began to paint. They speckled and spotted and striped their menorahs. Sadie painted hers pink with blue squiggles. Sounds interesting, right? On Thursday, let me see something. On Thursday, Maura Rachel taught the children the Hanukkah blessings and they all sang them together. Aw. Nice. On Friday, Sadie ran all the way to school because today she would take home her pink and blue menorah. All morning she imagined how it would look on the windowsill in the living room. At pickup time, Sadie waited for her mommy to arrive. As soon as she saw her, she started to run, but in her excitement, she tripped and fell. And the menorah flew out of her arms. Sadie burst into tears and ran across the room into her mother's arms. Mommy, mommy, I dropped my menorah and it broke into a million zillion pieces. Oh no. Oh no. Sadie's mother hugged her and said, let's see if we can pick them up and glue them back together. But even as she spoke, her mother could see that the shattered pieces were too small. There were pieces of Sadie's menorah in the dress up corner and pieces in the block corner. There were pieces under the snack table and pieces under the easel. Silently, the children began to help gather them. Maura and Rachel placed all the pieces in a small plastic bag. Oh boy. As they left the classroom, Sadie noticed something near the door. Look, it's the shamash, she said, and it's not broken. <gasps> Sadie, this is an extra special shamash, her mother said, and I think we can find an extra special job for it. You know that when we light the menorah, we use the shamash to light all the other candles, but how do we light the shamash? That can be the job for your shamash. We'll call it Sadie's Super Shamash. Sadie picked up her little pink shamash and cradled it ever so carefully in her hands. Aww. <clears throat> that night, Sadie, her brother, Ori, her parents and grandparents gathered to light the first Hanukkah candle. They had decorated the house with drawings of dreidels, menorahs, and stars of David. The table was covered with latkes, donuts, and Hanukkah jelt. On the windowsill stood for Hanukkah's menorah, waiting to be lit. Four Hanukkah menorahs, one, two, three, four, waiting to be lit. Right in the middle was Sadie's little pink and blue super shamash. Aw. Aw, here it is. Aw. Beautiful, beautiful, cutesy little illustrations for pictures. Sadie put a candle in her super shamash and Daddy helped her light it. Isn't it so cool? Then carefully she used it to light the shamash on all four menorahs. And in Sadie's family, that is how the Hanukkah menorahs are lit, even today. Oh. That was the end. Oh, the end. So I'm gonna read you some notes from the back. It says, using this book at home, Sadie loves her new menorah. She is devastated when it breaks, but she finds a way to make an unfortunate situation good. Hmm. When she finds the shamash, she transforms her broken menorah into something new. Ask your child 
How do Sadie's friends help her? Have you ever helped a friend feel better? Why do you think the Shamash, the servant, has this name? What does Gamzu Itova mean to you? Has something ever happened that felt like a disappointment at first, but later turned into something positive? Mm. Nice, nice, nice. Um, it says a note from PJ Library. So we're going to read the note in the front now. It says, Sadie has created a beautiful menorah for Hanukkah, but in her excitement to show her mother, she trips and the menorah breaks. Luckily for Sadie, her mother is there to help. Like all of us mommies are, right? Even though it's clear that Sadie's menorah cannot be mended, her mother shows her how to find some good, some good in this amidst the disappointment. Mm. The shamash, which means servant in Hebrew, and holds the candle used to light all other candles. It's unbroken, so it can become a super shamash. Sadie's mother is teaching Sadie more than, more than just good coping skills. In Jewish tradition, there's a story about Nechum Ish Gamzu, Nechum the Gamzu man, Gamzu man. Despite many difficulties and a number of physical ailments, Nechum always sees the good in everything. That's a good attribute to have. That's really good. Because of his positive approach to life, the phrase Gamzu Itoba, this too is for the good, was created from his name. Sadie's mother is a modern Nechum. Sadie will never be able to put her menorah back together, but she is able to use the super shamash to light the other menorahs in her family's home. Thanks to Gamzu Itoba, a new family tradition is begun. One that brings light to everyone. Wow. On this Multicultural Awareness Wednesday, meaning on Wednesdays, I read a book about somebody else's culture. I try to get cover all different cultures. And this was a pretty, pretty, pretty good book to read today. Sadie's Almost Marvelous Menorah. Cause, because um, this was celebrated, I believe, last month. Yes. So we did learn a little bit about their culture. This is the Jewish culture. And let you know that all races celebrate the Jewish culture. Just to let you know in case you didn't know. But I thank you, thank you guys so much for being here as I read fun, exciting, and cultural books like this. Mm. Thank you so much for being here. I want to spend a, a, send a special shout out to my mom, her name is Beverly, who is here and she supports me. And she listens to me read every single day. My girl, Michelle Buchanan. Thank you. And of course, I got to shout out Patsy, who has all of her kids, all of her kids like to sit there and listen to me, their special cousin, <laughs> read these books. I have fun reading them and I know that they enjoy them. We got Destiny, Darla, Delilah, Deanna, and DJ. I think I got them all. <laughs> I got them all. So shout out to all of you guys, uh, Michelle Buchanan, Patsy, my mom, of course. And you know, I always send that special shout out to Elid, my cousin Elid, and my friend Victoria and my girl Sheena G for always, always, always sharing my videos, which allows more people to hear, to hear me read. And I try to encourage you guys to read when I read because I try to make the books interesting. I try to make the background stuff interesting and i hope it catches your attention and i hope it encourages you to read hope so well thank you thank you thank you so much for being here and listening to me read i know you know that i will be back tomorrow live at five let's do it together live l i right v e live at five tomorrow and again i'm gonna shout out my girl gail barker thank you thank you so much for your help today Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, much love. And oh, um, just to mention Sheena G. Sheena G shares her page. She has an autism page and she shares my books on that page also. So once again, thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for listening and thank you for reading. And again, thank you for going over to YouTube to Audrey's Reading Area and smashing that subscribe button. 
Audrey's reading Yuri. Punch in that notification bell. Punch, punch, punch. Yes. So every time I upload a new video, you could be the first to get that notification and you could be the first to share it. How cool is that? Well, once again, um, I will see you again tomorrow live at five, L-I-V-E, live at five tomorrow. Thanks again for being here and I will see you again tomorrow.